This is part one of three videos of Splash Youth Art School, um, which takes place in a working artist studio. And uh, we show how groups of children aged between four and 14 are led through the process of making a piece of abstract art. Now the art was based on the work of Hans Hoffman, who was an American abstract expressionist, uh, quite important. Um, I think he was called the father of abstract expressionism, I'm not sure though. So, so go ahead and Google him. There's a lot of info out there about his um, artwork and lots of images as well. This is my digital version of a Hans Hoffman painting, just to show you um, the style and the type of uh, abstraction that we're, we're talking about. I don't believe his edges were razor sharp or as hard edged as uh, my edges are here. And this is a painting by one of our 10 year old students after the, she had completed the, um, the workshops. Uh, this also is in the style of Hans Hoffman as is the following two paintings as well. Now these paintings you're gonna see more of in parts two and three, especially in parts three, uh, where we'll show you some of the other works that our young students uh, finished. In part one, our artist led the children in their very first drawing session. He wanted to introduce them to geometric shapes in nature and the environment. So he began with the children drawing from cubes, cones and balls. The artist encouraged them to notice the lights and darks and not draw what they thought the object looked like in their mind, but instead draw what they were actually looking at, i.e. the position of the object in space and how many sides of it they could actually see and not just what they thought they could see. In the next few sessions, the classes were concentrated on getting the kids to begin thinking about geometric shapes in everyday objects, stuff that was familiar to them, familiar images and the um, environment around them. To do this, uh, the artist drew a basic house in a basic landscape on the board, which the children then copied by drawing the house onto their sheet of paper. The kids were encouraged to use rulers to draw straight lines at this point. Once they had familiarised themselves with the mechanics of using a ruler to draw straight lines, um, they began to draw houses. The artist then gave the kids tempera paint so they could finish their houses with some colour. Actually, the kids were not using tempera paint, they were using watercolour. I keep saying tempera but um, that's why the colours are so vibrant and fresh. It was watercolour that they were using. The next session, um, he used a sailboat uh, so that the kids could see uh, the triangle shapes in the uh, sails and uh, the skewered rectangle in the base of the boat, as well as the conical shape that you would find in the lighthouse shape. And um, he used a half circle for the sun that was uh, peeping up over the horizon line. Um, the kids uh, then painted those drawings too once they had finished drawing them. And finally, the introduction to geometric shapes in nature and the environment ended with a session on fruit shapes. And thanks to a much appreciated volunteer, the kids were able to draw fruit from life, um, which they thoroughly enjoyed doing, and they thoroughly enjoyed eating the fruit afterwards as well. Pictures? Mm-hmm. I have my camera over there. How cool. I love it. Put this on my plate. So do I want, is this all I'm going to eat? So you're really, really hungry. I'm like well, this is the end of part one, and uh, without picking through the best of um, the paintings, I've picked out a small cross section of uh, paintings from our kids, and I hope you enjoy them. Um, we also have a website, splashartschool.yolasite.com, and you'll find the website below uh, this video 
on the video page. Slower, Aaliyah. Paint slower. Our Messiah. <laughs> uh, if you've a mind to and you would like to donate, please uh, feel free. We'll be very thankful. Uh, we do provide free art classes to those who, who have a little difficulty affording it. And um, also, we will on our website be placing some of the children's artwork that uh, if you donate, make a small donation, you can uh, acquire a whimsical piece of artwork from a child that will brighten your walls.